Brother Gerald, what Mama is saying is that Brother Harold should go and pick a new wife and get married soon. Simple, no problem, no issue. Will you shut up? Do you know the implications of polygamy? Do you know? Uh -huh. I do. The only way out is to send Lucia back. Mm. Then he will marry a woman that could bear him children. Hey. Mama. Then there will be no polygamous or polygamy. Mm -hmm. Mama, can you hear yourself? Mama, where is your conscience? You want Harold to, to send Lucia away and bring in another woman. Mm. Hey, Mama, let me ask you. Mm. What if Lucia is your daughter? What are you going to do? To fear what watch a pony man to to money if you're a man. Lucia can never be my daughter. None of my daughter will be barren. We are fat. Yes. In my home, Monenji. Mbo, Mbo, Eto, Eno, Ise, Ishi. Nena, do don't want money. Eh? My father has 24 children, two wives. I have six. You are going to have three very soon. Chinedu, where, where, where to? What are you not talking? So please, why I called you is that I want you to escort us to Mazi Baker's house tomorrow to marry one of his beautiful daughters. Mm -hmm. Okay, Amaka. Yeah. Amaka. To be precise. Yes. For your brother. Because in the anya fertility in her way will not Eh? Mama. Yes. Please. I will not be part of that conspiracy. Okay. If that is the reason you called me here, count me out. I will not be part of it. No, wait, 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 wait. I will not be part of that conspiracy, Mama. Calm down. You will be part of it. Oh? That is why you are here. Mm hmm a man supposed to be there and you are the man of the house because you've proven yourself to be a father simple mm -hmm. hope you still remember to take us to our orange berry spot too i'll be any issue uh, you can go with him or... uh, i'm not even going anywhere uh, you will go. go you will go sis i can't date anything less i mean that guy is not my class he's not my kind of man god forbid he can never be your kind of man he can't even have someone like you amen amen to think that he said I should come back to him. Me. Go back to him. Mm. He said that. He said it to my face. He said it to my face. And then I told him, I thought you have a woman in your life. Jennifer. Why don't you go ahead and marry her? And do you know what this idiot said to me? What did he say? He said, she's not my kind of woman. <laughs> <laughs> that guy said that to you. Sis. I mean, what kind of a human being is that? That is a fool. <laughs> is he? That, that, that I should allow him do it since my husband is impotent. No, he didn't say that to you. He said it. Sis, I think that guy is raving bonkers. I thought he was a madman. No, but how would you have sat down and have such conversation with that son of a lunatic? Yeah. I mean, how would you have done that? I just allowed him to keep spewing rubbish because hey. I wanted something from him. And I got it. Anyways, you did the right thing. I mean, that's not a bad idea at all. But if truly everything you just said, Kester did, like if truly he did all of that, then you're not far from the truth. Well, he agreed. Well, I think he did all of that just to get back at you. Maybe because you left him for Harrod. That was exactly what he said. But since you know I left him long before Harold even came into the picture, before Harold came, came, came into Nigeria from Ghana, we're already done. I says that guy is mad. No, 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 he is mad. <laughs> but I gave it to him. Really? Oh, I did. I trust you. <laughs> Are you the only woman in this planet, Ed? Why is it frustrating you? Man, at this point, I, I feel like seeing him and giving him my own peace of mind. Mama, do you want to turn your back against your first son because he's childless? I want a chosen her to give me grandchildren. Is it too much to ask for? Mama, have you forgotten what Brother Harold did for us in this family? Harold is the first son. 
anything he did is demanded of him or his responsibility. Brother Hello single handedly train every one of us up to university level. Look at Amanda. She's done with her university about going for youth service. Courtesy of Brother Harold. Mama, do you know that my wife and I pray for Harold and his family every morning just for them to have children? Which I know that you and Amanda have never done. As no in a mogolo yeratia, let me shock you. New splash, Mobla Amanda. Do you know that all these things that we thought Harold has been doing, it has been Lucia foot in the bills. Mm. What can you say? Electric shock. The house we thought Harold built in the city is owned by Lucia. She built that house with her money. Amanda, what is Mama talking about? tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes. She's ready to help her. Yes. Wherever, however. Oh. Are you here? Oh yes. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Well, I told you I was gonna bring her around. <laughs> I never knew Jennifer was the man you were talking it's about. Really oh, of sure. course, of course. Put everything together. Eh? I'm going with them. <laughs> you yeah, are glowing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Zara. Hello. Oh, it's good to see you again. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Girl, I am so happy for you. Come thank here. you! Thank you! Wow. <laughs> so, um, our wedding is coming up next month. You don't I say. special grace of God. Yes. <laughs> I will be there live. Of course. That's yes. a promise. <laughs> of course. Congratulations to you. Oh, yes. thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, Bobby, meet my sister Vera. Oh, wow. Vera, nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. <laughs> wow, this place is beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> To shop more, darling. Oh, no. You are Fire in the over. right place, so come with me. Oh, oh, oh my god, see this one, see this one, baby, see this one. I think it comes with this. <laughs> ah, exactly. Take anything you want. Yes, so, Brother Gerald. It's Auntie Vera that revealed this revelation to us. And she's even the one that sent us packing out of the house. You both went to the city? Yes, brother. I escorted Mama to go to the city to go and see brother for her to cook what the native doctor, the concussion, the native doctor gave to her to put inside brother's food. Native doctor? Yes. Mama told the native doctor that she wants brother to chase the wife out of the house. So that was why we went to Lagos. It's not me, oh. It's Mama that said I should escort her. How can you put a son in a peaceful marriage that God has joined together? Was that the reason I left Lagos? Hey, Mama? I, I... <coughs> all I... All I had wanted was to... To be sure that my first son... Has an heir. Mama, you went too far. I did not. The TPA is around the, 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 the community. They don't travel. Mama, you are supposed to pray for your children. I was praying. Are we not? I have been praying. Especially for Chukwe Chozona. Eh? When you are praying and the Satan is living in the house, what do you expect? Would the prayer work easily? So I have to do anything possible to make sure that my, 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 my child doesn't die childless. Oh, 
Good afternoon, sir. Oh, please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, please. My dispatch riders are actually busy, so that's why I could not get to deliver. Oh, in two hours. You get it in two hours. Yes, one of them is on his way here. So once once he gets here, he'll take you take them to Yeah, to God is going to it. Hello. Hello, how are you? You surprise, surprise. How Esther, are you? right? That's it. You know my name already. Impressive. So tell me, how are you? What are you doing in my office? Well, let's say Okay, so I was hovering around the neighborhood and decided to surprise. For what? No, go ahead and say it. Why exactly do you want to see me? I can remember having a business proposal or a transaction with you. Why are you here? <laughs> Come on, say, hey, hey, why are you being in a hurry? Why are you being so harsh on me? You're embarrassing me. Oh, please shut up. You barge into my office and then you're telling me why I'm shouting at you. I don't get it. What are you doing here? Vera. Can you please keep it low? You're embarrassing me, please. What do you mean, Kompo? Do you even know where you're seated? Do you know where you are? Now get up. So? Stand up and leave my office this minute before I do something regrettable! I wonder why you're sounding this way, man. Listen, I just came to see you and nothing more. It's about us. I think you should just listen and hear me out. I think you'll love what I'm about to Kesa, say. Kesa or whatever thing you seem to call your name. Do you realize I can make you disappear from this town this minute? Like in the twinkle of an eye. Do you realize know. that? I don't even understand what you're saying. Your name is Vera and what's so special about Vera? Listen, I think you're overreacting. Why don't you just calm down and let's talk about ourselves? Stand up and leave my office this minute! Who does Vera think she is? Oh, seriously. I need to find out who you are for you to have this such temerity to even ask me to walk out of your office like that. Hey, you overreacting. That's not nice. You're doing me, right? Yes, come on. Relax. I know you're just playing hard to get. I mean, this is just between you and I. Can do. Miss Flash, you just met the wrong girl. You're going to make your life so miserable that whenever you hear of your Konkwa family, you will have shivers running down your spine. Idiot, get out of my office! I'm sorry to ask. Did you just say the Okonko family? Did you hear me? Get out. Uh, are you related to Lucia? Do you have time to go stand up and leave my office this minute? And don't ever return again. Get out! you trust. Too many fake friends are working on the bad. How come no one ever mentioned to me that Vera is Lucia's younger sister? Oh, Mosey embarrassment. Fuck off. I guess that you've messed up big time. What kind of mess is this? <sighs> me that was already celebrating that I've gotten someone that befits me. Someone's assumption, someone a little bit sweeter. Hey. I should have known Vera happens to be the younger sister to Lisa who studied in England. I should have known. See the kind of embarrassment that girl gave me. See the kind of insult that girl gave me in her office. I guess that.
Hello, big sis. Guess who just left my office now? Kesta! Oh, you trust me. I gave that bastard a run for his life. Oh, I'm sure he's not going to sleep this night. <laughs> you needed to see the way he, he ran out of my office. Oh, he better not. He won't even dare come back to my office unless he wants to die. Oh, all right, sis. That's no problem. That's no problem. It's fine. All right, take care of yourself. Fool. Let me just see you an inch close to me. And then you regret the day you ever met me. Rubbish. Gosh. A bastard just ruined my day. <sighs> well, I'm, I'm very proud of you, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, me too. I love the engagement ring. No, it's Pure gold. gold. Pure gold. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're the best. Yes, anything for you. Thank God I met you. I blessed the day I saw you. Oh, thank God. I found you. Thank God. <laughs> thank we are, God. We are going to create perfume memories together. I'm telling you. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. May God bless the day we met each What do you like me to get for you? Yeah? <gasps> oh my God, see that my friend. The guy I told you about. Kesta! Wait, you mean that is Kesta? Yes, it's like this guy is 40 or something. What is he doing here? I see. Well, I'd like to stop taunting him. Serious? And appreciate him for letting you go that day. Baby, do you have to do all that? Yes, I insist. I have to. Gosh. Please. Fine, if you insist. Yes. Oh, that guy really dealt with me. Oh, I thank God he's in the past now. <laughs> okay. It looks like horse shit. Right. <laughs> Let's start with me, Joe. <laughs> hmm. Hello, young man. <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh, well, um, my name is Bobby. <laughs> so I was just driving by with my angel here, and she said to me, Oh, look at Kesta. <laughs> but then I turned and I saw you, and I was like, Okay. I thought it was right to stop by and thank you for letting her go that day. Uh huh. Yes. Kesta the loser. Because if you had not. <laughs> Hmm. I wouldn't have found my missing ring. Oh, <laughs> Upo. Um, babe, 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 hold on. Who is this comedian? Who is this one that looks like a skit maker? Overrated Yahoo boy. What's up? I don't know who you are. Mm. But you must be thinking crack to think I was going to let you have my wife. Baby, come, let's go. Probably he's an Uber man that gave you lift. Come, let's go. Do not touch me! You are the one taking cracks! Oh my god, Kesta! You've lost it! You must have been a <laughs> big fool and a dollar to let her go. Exactly, my darling. Exactly. My love, I don't have time for dead people walking. Let's go and have fun. Mm. Let's go. Look, let's go. <laughs> That's how you treat a woman. Oh my god, hurt up! You know what they say? He who laugh, laugh, laugh best. <laughs> oh my, of course, my darling. She never bears no ground. Oh my word! That is how real men treat a lady. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to 
be treated this way No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve to be treated this way so the other day you ran away, you did not even tell me what was pursuing you. I'm sorry, my friend. It was a customer. The customer called and said she was at our showroom. So I needed to rush off and go take her measurements. If not, she will leave. That was hmm. why. That means this customer has so much money. You are money. Uh -uh. Hey, see who is talking. Me and money. You that ran and see something was pursuing you because of a customer. I, I would like money pass, not be you. <laughs> well, you know what they say, money makes the world go round. <laughs> money is good, please. Yes, so. <laughs> so how is your family? <sighs> we are fine, my friend. Everybody is fine. <laughs> Lucia, yes. how far? The IVF, have you done it? Mm -mm. I told you, I'm not going to do it. She knew. What do you mean? What is your reason for not doing this? Lucia, I don't know what you are thinking, you know, but see you see monopause. I am telling you the truth. I don't know what you are doing, you know, but be fast before the nine letter words come knocking on your door. I know you were looking <laughs> out for me, okay? I understand. It's just that I do not want to do this. You don't want to do what? See you! Me that I am not yet married, I am even considering going for surrogacy. Sorry, what? Sorry, see. I don't want to be lonely when I'm old, though. I want when I'm old, I will have a companion. At least I can have a child I can say, go here, buy this for me, bring water for me, bring this for me. Ha! Gina, you are a young woman. What do you mean, surrogacy? Are you giving up on yourself already? I've given up. No, I haven't given up. You are young and you are very beautiful. So please, oh, don't come around this city that I'm waiting for instructions. Let us cheers to my future in law. What do you mean? We have to cheers. To my future in law. Nobody can take this. Yes, to my future in law. Don't come and spoil drink that I've not drank. From the shows of her feet up to the top of her head She is the epitome of beauty and grace With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart She never bears no grudge She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever She's ready to help Wherever, however, whomever You are She will never, ever, ever disappoint Cause she's got a good Nobody deserves this Nobody deserves to be treated this way No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve this No, she don't deserve to be treated this way Yeah She deserves pain Mama, 
Gerald! Where are you off with your bag? To my place, of course. Eh? You are packed already? Yes. Gerard, you're simply out of your mind. Mama, <laughs> what is it? What do you mean, what is it? We are preparing to go to Mazi Begwe's house to perform the marriage rites of Amaka. And you ran off? Mama, did you just hear yourself? You want to go and marry a wife for Brother Herod without seeking his consent first? Mama will not be part of that movement. Look at me, Get inside, what do you mean? Eh? I mustn't seek for your brother's permission to get a new wife for him. No! Not when Lucia will not allow him to think straight. She has used her money to becloud your brother's sense of reasoning. She has beclouded him! Mama, Mama, you are talking about money. Mama, if you had money, or your late parents had money, my father would have not died of that illness. Oh, see. Mama, I'm not I called you so that you will aid us to Mazi Bekwe's compound. That's all! Mama, I'm not going to be part of that movement. Eh? Yes. I am not going to be part of that movement. Nega, what? Your other siblings are already on their way coming. Together, we are going to get a new wife for your brother. So, go inside and relax. Only keep from the bam. Mother, Mama, it is so head of. It is so head of for you to go and arrange for marriage for my brother without his consent. Don't get me involved. I shouldn't get involved. Yes. Why? 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 Mama, don't get me involved because it's abnormal. We all have your brother's interests at heart. If you love your brother like you claimed, you have to follow us to Mazibekwe's house to get a new wife who can give your brother a child. And equally give me grandchildren. Or do you want your brother to die childless? Eh? Why are you stressing yourself? If he wants to go back to the city, allow him to go. If you ask me, it's your own personal decision if he to support brother or not. Exactly. If he doesn't want to support, Ola, leave him. Mama, if supporting brother is to draw you people to go and marry another wife for him, I am not part of it. I am not going. No, 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 speed. Name key. Hmm? Uh, let me have your key. Look at it. This is your key. Yes. Okay, okay. Follow me. Mama, Mama. What is she up to? Mama. You come and you call me. Mama. Oh yeah. Enter. Nah, yeah. I will not beg you again. We will not beg you again. Your other siblings on their way will escort me to Mazi the first house. Yes. If and you together, want to go and marry the brother, you are you are free. Oh, go. Yes. I am not going to be part of that. I am not going to be part of that. No, 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 let me help you. Eat drama. Bye bye. Foolish boy. Why were you even begging? Eat your. Lock my gate to her. Run away, run away, go. Why were you even begging? I'm dressed. I'm dressed. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Gerald, what's up? Good morning. How is your wife and your kids? Uh, we are doing great. Uh, brother, there's a problem. A problem? What is it exactly? From the village? Gerald, I hope there's no problem. Mama is the problem here. Yes. So what exactly is the problem? Wait. Where is Mama? Uh, brother, you will not believe what I'm about to tell you now. Mama and... Our other siblings are on their way going to marry Amaka for you today. Amaka? Who is Amaka, please? Uh, Amaka now, that is uh, Nani, Nani Beka's uh, last daughter, yes. Wait, Nani Beka from Akabuku? Yes. You should know him now. So, according to Mama, he said that our other siblings are on their way 
coming back to join her to go and marry Amaka for you. But I specifically told her that I will not be part of that conspiracy. So I left them in the village. I'm on my way going back to the city. I just said I should call you and let you know. Gerald, um, thank you so much. I honestly don't even know how to show my, my appreciation, okay? But I will call you later on so we can have a proper discussion about this, okay? Thank you so much. From the shows of her feet to the top of her head. Is everything okay? Mama will never cease to amaze me. Eh? Imagine Mama going to marry a lady for me without seeking my own consent. Well, you know your mother. She will stop at nothing until she gets exactly what she wants. Oh, she married a wife for you, right? And she'll bring the wife to my matrimonial home. She go ahead and do that. I'm waiting for her. I am waiting for her to bring a wife to my home. Then, imagine Mama going to marry Amaka for me. Amaka that is not even up to Amanda's age. She's going to marry Amaka for me. A grown up man like me. Okay. I'm waiting for her. I, I want to see that magic that you will pull. I'm waiting for her. Uh, you have eyes for good things. Uh -uh. Wait, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Do you think old women doesn't have eyes for good things? See, as soon as your brother beholds her, mm. he will fall head over heels. Of her. <laughs> hey, and she is very beautiful. <laughs> hey, Lequimwa, I mean, my brother's wife to be. <laughs> Everywhere large, everywhere full. <laughs> hey, hey! The moment he touches her, Hey, There will be players. There will be go to him. And then you go. Mind you. Manchester. Everywhere. Hey! Everywhere. I don't need to buy mail. No, Mama. What are you doing? Oh, my word. Word. Hey! oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Mama. Pico, pico, pico. Pick the beans quick, oh. So that we can make food. <laughs> hey, hey. Come in, Mama. Huh? Have you packed your things? Because tomorrow, mm, do your husband's house. Mama, my things are packed. I cannot wait to get to my husband's house tomorrow. Thank you, Mama. Hey! Hey! I am happy for you. I mean, I'm so happy for you. If I'm the one that is getting married, I would just eh, be making shakara. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Bye. Hey! Mama, Mama. Find a man first. Your own will come. Your own will come. My man will come. Get a man of hers. My man will come. Your my man will come. come. Oh, my man will come. Oh, my man. Where is your man? I'm Get not him. He's Bring coming. him home. I need to see him. Because mm. after Amaka must have given birth, I'm facing back in your own. Oh, man. He may check one need exclusive. I'll come your own person. He did not want exclusive. Oh. Get a man. My man will come. come. Before Bambi. Hey. I mean, hey. my love. <laughs> Mother of my grandchildren. Mama. Hey, what are you doing? So cool. <laughs> Mama, I will cook these beans by myself. Mm. I didn't ask. Mm. I will cook it. I did not ask. Oh, I told you. When you see a wise material, mm. 
You will know. Yes. I didn't ask. Mama, eh? I will cool. make the beans. Mama. Uh -huh. Mama, Mama, how Mama. are you? <laughs> I don't get time for problem, uh, Walai, Mama. I hope your guy is around. Yes, my Oba, I down for inside, inside my house, Walai. Uh, yes. Amaka, Doba Akba, Doba Akba Nana. Uh -huh. This is Amaka. He's your Oga's new wife. Oh yeah, greet her. Good afternoon, my Malai, Malam. Walai, Talai, I don't know say my Oga, I marry him for me, Malai, Walai. Yes. Uh, now that you know, at least take her bag inside. Okay, ma. Hey, but lie to lie. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves to be treated this way. Nobody can take this. Nobody can take this. Nobody can take this. Oga, Oga, Oga. I'm married to my wife. I know you. I know you. See me from here. I know that you get my gates. Bye. Hello, Bata, Bata, Bata. I'm not just not going to be here. Thank you. What is this? Hi. Okay. Let me find out. Over here. Hey, hey, Ache. Greet me now. Haven't you noticed your mother? Um, Amaka, Mama, this is your husband's house. And that is your husband. Chukweches on Amwam. Great him. My husband. Good evening, sir. <laughs> um, bring your bag. Let me show you to go. Go, 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 go in where? Huh? Go in where? Mama, what is this? Hmm? What is this? You brought in a stranger into my house. I see if that is not enough. You are taking her inside. Inside where? Ah! Baron, enough. Amaka is not a stranger. Echozona mm -hmm. knows who she is. Baby. Mm -hmm. What's the baby? Gimwa. Baby? Is that why she doesn't want to give birth? Eh? Well, tell her that Amaka is your new wife and she has come to stay. Your family has resulted to bringing you a girl who is fertile that can give children. Since she refused to give. Mama, how long that you have had to talk to here with you? Mama. What is it? Mama, oh, Mama, listen. To Mama, 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 listen. Listen. listen to me. Uh, listen, take this girl. I don't care where you brought her from. Take her out of my house now. If you don't do it, I will do something both of us will regret. Are you alright? Is this how to appreciate what your siblings and I did? Oh, talk is each other. Eh? Listen. You have to listen to me now. If there's anyone to leave, it should be this man woman. Me. Amaka is not going anywhere. She has come to stay. I should leave my house. I should leave my house. Mama. Which house? My house. Which house? Back your things and get out of here. Back which thing? Go where? Snap. Sit down. Yes. Mama, I think I can't do anything, right? Stop up and get out of my house now. Come on, I told them to go. Hey, 
Mama, what do you want me to do now? You came to the village and told my father that you want to marry me for your first son. Now we are here, they're asking us to go back. Amaka. Amaka. Amaka Biko. The owner of the house doesn't want you. So I don't know what to do. It's better we go. Mama, what do you mean? That woman is the owner of the house. The house belongs to her. Not my son. Mama, so what am I going to do now? We're going back to the village now. Mommy, I'm not going back to the village. You told me that I'm coming here to meet my husband. I'm coming to bear, to, to have children for him. Now you're saying we should go back to the village. I cannot go back to the village, Mama. You can't talk one word to them. Will you force yourself on them? No, answer me. Mama, I left everything in the village. Followed you, followed you, came to the city. Now they're saying we should go back. Mama, I will not go back empty-handed. Amaka, you are not going back empty-handed. I know on a park, Ngolo bread, Ngolo Panyage, Ijidenaka, I never. Come, let us go. Mama, my children will suck my breast. My husband is here now. My husband is here. Mama, which kind of thing is this now? Hey. <sighs> what was I thinking? Huh? Bringing a woman into my matrimonial home and say, say, say it's your wife. Hey, eh? what, what, what was that? I will never forgive her for this one. I will never. I cannot remember telling her that I needed another wife. I did not mention that to her. Bariness. Bariness. Bariness is something I will never wish upon my enemy. God forbid. I don't wish any woman to be barren in this world. Yes, baby, baby, don't do this. Stop mentioning that. Stop saying we are barren. We are not barren. Then what is it called? Hmm? Ten years of childlessness. Ten good years! I've not even had one miscarriage, not even a teddy bear. What do you call it? I don't blame Mama. I, mean, I don't blame her. I mean, she's a mother who wants what's best for her child. Who wants her child to have children and give her grandchildren, right? So, this is not her fault. This is not her fault. Never bears no grudge. She's ready to love whenever, however, wherever it takes. She's ready to help wherever, however, whomever you are. She'll but if you people are calling me just because you want me to come back. I am sorry I'm not doing that. If you're calling me to hold insults on me and my wife, I am sorry I will not take it. I'm not coming back to that meeting. I'm off to the city as I speak to you. Babe, I am. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. I thought it was that mischief maker. I'm so sorry, my love. Who else am I talking about? Of course it's her. Do you know Mama could knife with two of my uncles to cast aspersions on you and I? Can you just imagine? I just thank her that I did not overreact because if I had done it, I wonder what I'll be saying right now. Huh? I am so peace right now, but I thank God that I just respected myself and respected my uncles because they were very elderly men. Mama has successfully made me look worthless before my kinsmen. Yes, it's that bad. As I'm speaking to you right now, I, 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 I am so enraged. I, 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 I walked out on them and drove out, drove out to other place. I told them I was going back to the city. But I cannot even do it right now. I'm, I'm so enraged. I, 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 I don't think I can even drive.
Then my love, that's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll just check into a hotel and rest and then tomorrow I'll set out for the city. Okay. Alright, my love, I'll, I'll call you back once I get somewhere to stay. Okay. You take care of yourself, alright? Alright, later. to take a second wife. No. Why not? Polygamy is a no for me. My late father was only married to my mother. My grandfather was only married to my grandmother. It's not going to change in my own time. So I've been considering other alternatives. And I think we should try IVF. I discussed it with Dr. Michelle. And uh, she says that is our best bet to end this frustrating situation. I have been thinking about it too. I hear you. So you have accepted, right? Yes, babe. I love you very much. I love you so much. One more thing. No one else must hear about this. Okay? Okay. This must be between us and Dr. Michelle. Absolutely. From the shush of her feet up to the top of her head, she is the epitome of beauty and grace. With tears in her eyes, pain in her heart. She never bears no grudge She's ready to love Whenever, however, wherever Hi, Doctor. She's ready to help. Yeah, I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> How is the family? Okay, um... My wife and I are thinking of coming to see you in the hospital tomorrow. There's something very important we would like to discuss with you. So, um, I don't know, what is your itinerary like? Is um, 9 a.m. fine with you? Okay, then 9 a.m. it is. See you tomorrow. Alright, good. No, she don't deserve this. No, she don't deserve this. No, she don't Stop. deserve to be treated this way. What is her crime? You appear pregnant. But Scan says otherwise. I am as confused as you are. This is really, really killing me, like... Dr. Michelle says you're not pregnant. That you only have a bloated tummy. How... 
How is that even possible? If the scan says you're not pregnant, then what do you have in your tummy? If you do not have children in there, what exactly is in your tummy? I don't know. They say I am not pregnant. But I feel all the signs of pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> 